Maryland CDL Passenger Vehicles Test Question 1. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If the distance is less than 500 yards. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 2. Never refuel your bus. In a closed building with passengers on board. With a higher grade of fuel. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 3. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 250 pounds 500 pounds 100 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 4 If there is no traffic light or attendant how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop 100 feet 5 feet 10 yards 50 feet Answer 50 feet Question 5 The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so Accident reports will be accurate You can help impair drivers you will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 6 Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Emergency hospital supplies. Tear gas. Emergency drug shipments. Answer. Tear gas. Question 7. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only by a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck if the distance is less than 500 yards by another bus with its four-way flashers on if getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders answer if getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 8. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if required by company policy. Always. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Answer. Always. Question 9. Never refuel your bus. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. With a higher grade of fuel. In a closed building with passengers on board. Answer. 
in a closed building with passengers on board. Question 10. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Tear gas. Emergency hospital supplies. Answer. Tear gas. Question 11. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 20 15 50 25 Answer 15 Question 12. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 500 pounds 100 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds Answer 500 pounds. Question 13. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Before and after signaling the change. After completing the lane change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 14. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 15. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 10 yards 100 feet 5 feet 50 feet Answer 50 feet Question 16. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 6 8 4 0 Answer 8 Question 17. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50 25 15 20 Answer 15 Question 18 which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments Tear gas Emergency hospital supplies Small arms ammunition, ORMT Answer Tear gas Question 19. Never refuel your bus. 
with a higher grade of fuel. In a closed building with passengers on board. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 20. If a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should not allow them to do it. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 21. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Any rider can use all exits. The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 22. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Always. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if required by company policy. Answer. Always. Question 23. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. On any or all of the wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only on the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 24. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors, hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares, reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit, spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Answer. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 25. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 50 feet. 5 feet. 100 feet. 10 yards. Answer. 50 feet. Question 26. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 100 pounds 500 pounds 300 pounds 250 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 27 If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it Always have a red door light turned on. Be secured when the bus is being driven. All of the above. Answer. Be secured when the bus is being driven.
Question 28. If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Not allow them to do it. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Have the rider pay a second fare. Answer Not allow them to do it. Question 29. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 30. Never refuel your bus. In a closed building with passengers on board. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 31. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 8 4 6 0 Answer 8 Question 32. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 0 4 6 8 Answer 0 Question 33. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 34. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. By a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. By another bus with its four-way flashers on. If the distance is less than 500 yards. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 35. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 50 20 25 15 Answer. 15. Question 36. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 100 feet. 50 feet. 5 feet. 10 yards. Answer. 50 feet.
Question 37. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 20 50 25 15 Answer 15 Question 38. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 39. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural? Farm workers zero eight four six answer eight question forty a bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Any rider can use all exits. The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 41 If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 10 yards 100 feet 50 feet 5 feet Answer 50 feet Question 42 If there is no traffic light or attendant how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 50 feet 5 feet 100 feet 10 yards Answer 50 feet Question 43. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? Right after starting the lane change. After completing the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 44. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. Accident reports will be accurate. Law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 45. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 500 pounds 100 pounds 250 pounds 300 pounds Answer 500 pounds 
Question 46. Never refuel your bus. Without a static chain. With any of the windows open. In a closed building with passengers on board. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 47. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. On any or all of the wheels. Only on the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Anywhere except the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 48. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 20. 50. 15. 25. Answer. 15. Question 49. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? Any rider can use all exits. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. The driver can move freely and easily. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 50. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 4. 6. 8. 0. Answer. 0. Question 51. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is As safe as possible, or the next stop Dark and poorly lighted Off the regular route The next stop Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 52. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. On any or all of the wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Only on the front wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 53. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 250 pounds 500 pounds 300 pounds 100 pounds Answer. 500 pounds. Question 54. Never refuel your bus. In a closed building with passengers on board. Without a static chain. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 55. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency drug shipments. Tear gas. Small arms ammunition, ORMT.
Emergency hospital supplies. Answer. Tear gas. Question 56. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 57. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 100 pounds 500 pounds 250 pounds Answer 500 pounds. Question 58. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 6. 8. 4. 0. Answer. 8. Question 59. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? Zero. Four. Six. Eight. Answer. Zero. Question 60. You must not allow rider to stand. In front of the standee line. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Between the wheel wells. Within two feet of any window. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 61. Your bus is disabled. The bus, with riders aboard, may be towed or pushed to a safe place only. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders, buy a 27,000 GVWR or larger tow truck. If the distance is less than 500 yards, buy another bus with its four-way flashers on. Answer. If getting off the bus would be more risky for the riders. Question 62. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Only on the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. On any or all of the wheels. Anywhere except the front wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 63. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Right after starting the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 64. If there is no traffic light or attendant, how far from the draw of a drawbridge must you stop? 100 feet. 10 yards. 50 feet. 5 feet. Answer. 50 feet. Question 65. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. 
law enforcement personnel can be called. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 66. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is The next stop Off the regular route Dark and poorly lighted As safe as possible, or the next stop Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 67. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 8 6 0 4 Answer 8 Question 68 you must not allow rider to stand between the wheel wells in front of the standee line within two feet of any window within two feet of an emergency exit answer in front of the standee line question 69 if a rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should Have the rider pay a second fare Not allow them to do it Instruct them to sit next to an open window Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus Answer Not allow them to do it Question 70. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 71. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 72. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Emergency hospital supplies. Tear gas. Emergency drug shipments. Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Answer. Tear gas. Question 73. You may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 250 pounds. 500 pounds. 100 pounds 300 pounds Answer 500 pounds Question 74 If the rider wants to bring a car battery or a can of gasoline or kerosene aboard your bus, you should 
not allow them to do it. Have the rider pay a second fare. Tell them they must go to the rear of the bus. Instruct them to sit next to an open window. Answer. Not allow them to do it. Question 75. Never refuel your bus. In a closed building with passengers on board. With a higher grade of fuel. With any of the windows open. Without a static chain. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 76. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 15. 25. 50. 20. Answer. 15. Question 77. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Answer You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 78. When stopping for railroad tracks, you must stop no closer than how many feet before the nearest track? 20 50 15 25 Answer 15 Question 79. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Emergency exit handles are secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Every handhold and railing is secure. All of the above. Answer All of the above. Question 80. If your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Always have a red door light turned on. All of the above. Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 81. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. Any rider can use all exits. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 82. How many folding aisle seats are permitted in a bus that is not carrying farm workers? 4 6 8 0 Answer 0 Question 83. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? 
riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. The driver can move freely and easily. Any rider can use all exits. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 84. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. Stopping time increases 1 second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Answer You need about 4 times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 85 When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Always. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Only if required by company policy. Answer. Always. Question 86. When inspecting your bus, you must make sure that Every handhold and railing is secure. Rider signaling devices are working. Emergency exit handles are secure. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 87. The reason you must be alert for road hazard is so. You can help impair drivers. Accident reports will be accurate. You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Law enforcement personnel can be called. Answer You will have time to plan your escape if the hazard becomes an emergency. Question 88 When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is Dark and poorly lighted Off the regular route The next stop As safe as possible, or the next stop Answer As safe as possible, or the next stop Question 89 if your bus is equipped with an emergency exit door, it must Always have a red door light turned on. Be secured when the bus is being driven. Not have any signs, stickers or marking near it. All of the above. Answer Be secured when the bus is being driven. Question 90. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher. Signal flares. Answer. Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 91. A bus may carry baggage or freight in the passenger area only if it is secured and meets which of the following requirements? The driver can move freely and easily. Riders are protected from falling of shifting packages. 
Any rider can use all exits. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 92. You must not allow rider to stand. Within two feet of any window. Within two feet of an emergency exit. In front of the standee line. Between the wheel wells. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 93. Buses may have recapped or regrooved tires. Anywhere except the front wheels. Only when the average speed will be less than 40 miles per hour. Only on the front wheels. On any or all of the wheels. Answer. Anywhere except the front wheels. Question 94. Never refuel your bus. In a closed building with passengers on board. With any of the windows open. Without a static chain. With a higher grade of fuel. Answer. In a closed building with passengers on board. Question 95. When should you check your mirrors for a lane change? After completing the lane change. Before and after signaling the change. Right after starting the lane change. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. Question 96. You must not allow rider to stand. Between the wheel wells. Within two feet of an emergency exit. Within two feet of any window. In front of the standee line. Answer. In front of the standee line. Question 97. How many seats may be placed in the aisle if the bus is a charter and is carrying agricultural, farm, workers? 8 0 6 4 Answer 8 Question 98 you may sometimes haul small arms ammunition, emergency shipments of drugs or hospital supplies on a bus. The total weight of all such hazardous material must not be greater than 300 pounds 250 pounds 500 pounds 100 pounds Answer 500 pounds. Question 99. Which of the following types of emergency equipment must you have on your bus? Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Reflectors, fire extinguisher, accident reporting kit. Hydraulic jack, fire extinguisher, signal flares. Spare electric fuses, fire extinguisher, and accident reporting kit. Answer Fire extinguisher, spare electric fuses, reflectors. Question 100. When you discharge an unruly passenger, you must choose a place that is as safe as possible, or the next stop. Off the regular route. The next stop. Dark and poorly lighted. Answer. 
as safe as possible, or the next stop. Question 101. When is it best to wear your seat belt? Only if required by company policy. Always. Only when you will be driving over 35 miles per hour. Only if your bus holds more than 27 people. Answer. Always. Question 102. Which of these statements about speed management and braking is true? You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. The total stopping distance of a bus is the distance it takes to stop once the brakes are put on. The posted speed limit will always allow you to stop safely. Stopping time increases one second for each 10 miles per hour over 20 miles per hour. Answer. You need about four times as much stopping distance at 40 miles per hour as at 20 miles per hour. Question 103. Which one of the following types of cargo must never be carried on a bus with the passenger? Small arms ammunition, ORMT. Emergency hospital supplies. Emergency drug shipments. Tear gas. Answer. Tear gas. Thank you for watching the video and wish you will get your driver license soon.